here we are going to solve the problem which is given in page number in chapter 10 in page number 195 example number 10.3 is given what is asked in the problem look at here one equation is given x is equal to a sin omega t plus b cos omega t now we have to check it up whether this one represents the uh, equation of simple harmonic motion or not now first you have to understand what is the general form of general equation of SHM. d square y divided by dt square is equal to minus omega square y is called as equation of SHM. Here x is given. Here this x must be differentiated for two times. After differentiating this x with respect to time for two times you will get d square x divided by dt square. The final expression must be compared with the general equation of SHM, if both are resembling in the same form, then only we can call it as, this is called, this one represents the uh, simple harmonic motion. Now I am going to differentiate this x for first time with respect to time. For the first time, I am going to differentiate this x with respect to time. How to write this? dx by dt, x is differentiated with respect to time. How to write this d by dt of in bracket you write they have to be written separately are you clear separately they have to be differentiated a sin omega t plus d by dt of b cos omega t so you have to write like this dx by dt is equal to here a is constant if sin omega t is differentiated, you will get cos omega t. Again, omega t to be differentiated separately, you will get omega. Are you clear? And then plus here b is constant. Are you clear? So b can be taken outside. And if cos omega t is differentiated, you will get minus sin omega t. If omega t is differentiated separately, you will get omega. So on the whole, how the equation, finally you are getting a omega cos omega t minus b omega sin omega t. This is called as dx by dt. Are you clear? So this is one of the answers you are getting in the form of dx by dt. Are you clear? Now, this is the first step. Now this equation, this dx by dt to be differentiated for one more time. How to write, how to write this? Look at that. I am, I am going to differentiate this one for the nuclear for one more time. How to write this? d by dt of, in bracket you write, dx by dt. Are you clear? This one can be written like this. d, d square x divided by dt square. So this one can be written in this form. Now d by dt of this one must be separated. This one must be differentiated separately. And then minus d by dt of this part must be differentiated separately. Since you are in the initial stage, I have written several steps. But in textbook, you can't see all the steps a omega is a constant d by dt of cos omega t cos omega t to be differentiated separately minus b omega d by dt of sin omega t so this is to be differentiated separately here <coughs> cos omega t if cos omega t is differentiated, you will get minus sin omega t. Already a omega constant is there, minus sin omega t, omega t to be differentiated separately, you will get omega minus of b omega. If sin omega t is differentiated, you will get cos omega t. If omega t is differentiated, you will get omega. Now you have to club the omega. So what will happen? You will get minus a omega square sin omega t 
minus a omega square sin omega t minus b omega square what is this minus b omega square cos omega t so in that format we can write now look at the x are you clear now we have to find out whether any possibility of getting x minus can be written as a common factor omega square can be taken as a common factor and write the rest of the factors within the bracket what you will get a sin omega t plus b cos omega t so in that format we can write i think you are following me minus omega square this entire part is nothing but x therefore we can write it as x are you clear now this one can be written here d square x divided by dt square can be written look at this final expression this expression is similar to this one d square x divided by dt square is equal to minus omega square x you have got this one is resembling like this equation both are same no here d square x is there here d square y is there here minus omega square x is there here minus omega square y is there both the two equations are clear similar in all aspects both lhs and rhs are you clear that's why we can say that this given equation represents simple harmonic motion therefore we have to conclude that this equation this one can be called as 1 and this equation can be called as 2 are you clear we have we can say that by comparing this 1 and 2 are you clear we are come to a conclusion that both are looking similar therefore the given equation which equation x is equal to a sin omega t plus b cos omega t <coughs> represents this conclusion must be written finally represents the simple harmonic motion that is shm simple harmonic motion are you clear any doubt on this very interesting problem like this three more problems are given in the uh, <coughs> textbook so we can solve one by one okay